When a tooth or multiple teeth are missing, a dental implant can be placed into the bone and used as a mechanism for anchorage. An implant crown can then be made and screwed onto the dental implant. The implant crown looks natural and is the best treatment option for replacing one or even multiple missing teeth. Who is a good candidate for dental implants? A good candidate for dental implants requires sufficient bone to support the dental implant. As this is a surgical procedure, the patient should be in good general health. Smoking and certain medications may be contraindicated for this procedure. Implant crowns are the gold standard for tooth replacement. Dental implants help to maintain the bone while providing optimal aesthetics and function. How long do implant crowns last? Ideally, implant crowns can last 10 to 20 years. Implant crowns consist of two separate components, the dental implant, which is placed into the bone, and the implant crown, which is secured to the implant. Proper maintenance includes daily brushing, flossing, and using a water pick to keep the area clean. Regular professional cleanings are also essential to help maintain bone levels around the implant. Over time, the implant crown is subjected to biting forces which can result in wear, screw loosening, or fracturing of the implant crown. Routine checkups and utilization of a night guard can help to extend the prosthetic lifespan and prevent complications. Early detection of dental implant issues provides us with the opportunity to make preventative adjustments to ensure the longevity of the dental implant and crowns. Implant crown or traditional bridge? The traditional bridge treatment option involves shaving down the teeth adjacent to the missing tooth. An implant crown conservatively restores only the missing tooth without affecting the adjacent teeth. Unless the adjacent teeth require crowns, a dental implant is a better option that preserves your natural teeth. The implant crown timeline. The full implant process takes roughly six to 12 months. The majority of this time is spent healing from the tooth extraction and the placement of the dental implant. Bone grafting may be required at the time of extraction to provide the best future implant site. But don't worry, during the entire process, an interim removable appliance will be provided to you to replace the missing tooth. One option is an Essex appliance, the other is an interim partial denture. The timeline looks a little something like this. We extract the existing tooth and give the area roughly three to six months of healing time. Once your implant surgery has been scheduled, we create the surgical guide. This guide ensures that the dental implant is placed in the most optimal position for your future implant crown. We have another healing period of roughly three to four months. And once everything has adequately healed, you'll come to Vivid Prosthodontics for the final impression. After about two to three weeks, you'll return to Vivid Prosthodontics for the insertion of the implant crown. With our in-house dental laboratory, we are able to make adjustments to the color, fit, and form in order to ensure the most ideal outcome. How do we design a custom implant crown? At Vivid Prosthodontics, I work with my team of in-house dental laboratory technicians who use CAD CAM technology to design, mill, center, shade, and fit your dental implant crown on a 3D printed model. We use custom milled abutments to ensure the best fitting implant crown made specifically for your mouth. We often use zirconia for its strength, fracture resistance, aesthetics, and biocompatibility. What makes a prosthodontist the best option for implant crowns? A prosthodontist has knowledge of biomechanics, occlusion, aesthetics, and dental complications that allow us to create restorations that are made to last. Our in-house dental laboratory ensures that your restoration is made right the first time around. What are the risks of getting a dental implant placed outside of Canada? A question that I'm often asked by patients is, why shouldn't I get my dental implants placed somewhere else? There's a number of reasons why, to be honest. The first is, there are thousands of different types of implants. Many of these implants are not Health Canada approved. If issues arise, we may not be able to get the parts required to fix the issue. This may result in the need to remove the implant, to have further bone grafting completed, 
to have a new implant placed to be restored with a new implant crown. As you can imagine, the cost would be significantly more than if the procedure was just completed in Canada in the first place. In Canada, the standard of care is very high, which includes infection control. The same standards may not apply in other countries. This may put you at greater risk of infection or other complications. In my 13 years of practice as a prosthodontist, I've had to fix many complications as a result of dental tourism with my surgical colleagues. It is important to understand the risks and consequences of treatment. If you are considering dental tourism, please do your research. Cost is one factor, but the most important thing is your health, time, and well-being. If you're unsure about your dental needs or require a second opinion, feel free to schedule an appointment with me. I'll be more than happy to complete a comprehensive exam and review the treatment options available to you. If you're interested in implant crowns or just want to learn more, check out our website, vividdental.ca. If there's any dental topics you'd like to know more about, feel free to let me know. My name is Dr. RF Sumar. Thanks for watching.